Hello YouTube, my name is Jerry, PC Drain Gaming, and welcome to episode 10 of our Light Eat Let's Play. So in the last episode, the Dragon Police, I guess, appeared, and today we are talking to the captain. We're not getting anywhere if we can talk with that boy. Alright. Can we talk right now? Yeah, that's fine. Huh, what should I ask? Oh yeah, Mr. Captain, how old are you guys? Our ages? I'm not sure. I believe I've lived around 100 years. Red's lived for 10 or so. Wait, 10? So... From what I understand, the captain um, is immortal, right? So he could basically live forever, but Brett is like a normal, normal dragon. Uh, he's got some abilities, right? But he's still a normal dragon, so I guess they age really quickly. I mean, Fina isn't that old either. But so I guess they become fully grown after like 10 years. Oh, 17 years, never mind. All right, so he kind of looks his age, right? And dragons really don't change much as they age. Well, I guess Fina looks older than her age too. I believe she's like six, right? That's right. Some dragons are roughly bread size when they're three. Excuse me? How old's Papa? When I first met him, he seemed about seven or eight. No, I would guess he's around 20, more or less. You met him that far back? Yep. Oh, really? He was part of a group of children about his age, living in the slums. He was sort of the boss of the group, and day by day they did the thievery. Papa had friends? Yeah, sometimes they would act as a collective, other times he would act alone. But some years later the children vanished when an incident befell the town. Years after that we found him all alone. Where did his friends go? We did find some of the children in far off towns, but one of them has never been seen since. They seem to be the weakest of the group, you see. So they may have, well, died when they were separated. I see. One of Papa's friends died. The strong eat the weak, that's just how it goes. Then I gotta be stronger. Heck, I'll get stronger than Papa, and I'll be the one protecting him. I like your determination, you have my support. Oh yeah, where did Papa go? I saw him in the hall downstairs earlier. Okay, thanks. Don't hurry too much, you'll trip and fall. I'm fine. Alright, let's go find our papa. There is our papa. Huh, I was just about to go wake you up. Save me the trouble. I got up a while ago. I was talking with the captains. Oh, right. What are they doing here? Not a corpse in sight. They said they had business with a drain kit. Wonder where they got that info from. I'd like to meet whatever informant they've got. Wanna go ask? No, not really. I'll look into it myself. Now let's move. First the boy, William. We'll talk to him. He's up? Yeah, I heard him talking in the room earlier. Let's go. Oh, yes, let's go meet William. I like William so much. He's such a cutie pie. Excuse me. Where'd you leave William? William? He went to Olivia's room. Olivia's quite skilled at entertaining children. I must attain... No, maintain a positive attitude as well. Detain a positive attitude, alright. Child, what are you doing here? G good morning. I want to talk a little, is that okay? Uh, um, yeah. Can we go somewhere else? Where? Oh, outside, please. wonder why. Guess we have to. What's going on? Something happened? No. Don't need it right now. Oh, well, sorry. Jeez. I don't think anyone will be listening here. Ask me anything. Will, are you a dragon? Hey. I don't know either. Miss Sophia tells me people tells people I'm a human though. Is she often worrying over you? Yeah, and not just me. She works for Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia and Tom and Mars. She's even concerned for customers she doesn't really know. And lately, she's been really worried about the incidents with Mr. Lucas. Do you think you're a human? It's only supposed to be dragons who can do magic and stuff, right? And what magic is that? I can... I can eat dreams. So you are like me. When you eat dreams, is there a monster of sorts that comes out for you to eat? No, not really. There's this cotton candy stuff that floats over people's heads. I just suck it up. But then they forget all about that dream. Oh, so they don't actually lose their memories? They forget about the dream they had? Is that all? If I stare at it, I can see what's in the dream too. So no monsters that go rampaging, huh? So I suppose you must be connected with the people here losing their memories, right? Yeah, somehow. 
N no, I'm I'm not. I'm I'm usually with Miss Sophia, and I'm always studying, so I hardly even move from. And and these things were happening before I came. Well, these were all lies. Well, you lied. I'll ask you again after this. Effie, clean up. Meal time. All right. Apparently, it's time to snack. It happened before I came. That's a lie. Uh, at least I hope that's a lie. Oh, damn. We're almost out of HP and SP on Hall. Whoops. Oh. Um. All right. Why'd you lie? Because, um, Miss Sophia? Yeah, she, she told you to lie, right? What about her? Um. Did you still want to ask something? No, that's fine. Thanks. Okay, goodbye. What just happened? Something weird happened. Damn it, he took him. He took some memories, didn't he? Our memories, but he calls it eating dreams, I guess. That settles it. William's a memory eating dragon. He took our memories? How'd you know that, Hal? I was taking notes while he wasn't looking. But now I have no memory of what I wrote here. Good thing I've been taking these then. Oh my god. So he's not eating dreams, he's just literally eating memories. Alright, well, that's case closed. <laughs> Let's talk to the manager next. Got it. Such a vile little boy. You shouldn't lie like that. Yes? Would you mind talking to us for a bit? That's alright, I'll do what I can. I should this before, but why did you wait this long to contact the police? And this was the fifth time. If this has been that frequent... Luke's being stabbed or strangled or burned? It's all too common for the man. There are always minor injuries, so I couldn't be too worried. And next is about William. Miss, do you think he's a human, or do you think he's a dragon? Human, of course. He says he eats dreams, but... He's a child. He's just playing around. William's a fine human. Even more lies. <laughs> oh god. These monsters appear when people tell lies. Because I'm a dragon, and I eat lies. I'll ask you again after this. Yes. Yes. He can eat dreams. Well, that's a lie. He doesn't eat dreams. He eats freaking memories. Miss me. Alright. We better level up after this. We really weak. He keeps missing, though. That's good for us. All right, we leveled up. Good. Black gross. This is a tr what? Was that a truth? He doesn't eat. He doesn't eat dreams. All right. I push to him near daily. Yeah, that's probably true. Wait, Mister Human, that's a lie. All right, there we go. Little lie. Recover SP. Sure. Let's just fire. Mm, that doesn't even do that much. Little lie again. Just a regular attack. Calm down, bro. We really need to take a rest. Take a little nap. Get our HP and SP back because this might be bad. Alright. We did it. Triple knife learned. Dragon eye learned. Alright. Can we quickly go and take a nap? So at least we found one of the... What do you have to say? Oh, they're from the police, right? Huh? Did I check over there? Y yeah, yeah, probably. Alright, let's go and take a little nap. Excuse me. Take a rest. Yep. Alright, good, good, good. Now we're all ready for the next battle. So if William is a dragon... I wonder if the police will take him and he'll stay with them. Or if he'll stay here. Alright. I'm not worried. Mm, I don't know yet. They're just minor injuries. That's probably true. Alright. I think I'm not worried is the lie. She's worried about something. I don't know what. But definitely something. What did Dragon Eye? Oh yeah. Protect. Oh. That's so OP. Alright, did it. You're very worried about Mr. Lucas, aren't you? And you are reluctant to contact anyone because of William, right? Correct. Why? Does it have to do with Will? Maybe you didn't know, but the police shelter dragons. Whether those dragons are subject to unfair treatment, or if their power's unstable and they can't control it. 
I found out that rumors were spreading about him. I thought if I called the police, they would look into William. Maybe she's afraid that they'll take him? And I thought for sure, yeah, I thought for sure they would take him away. I did some research into dragons, but I haven't had the faintest idea why William's power is unstable lately. He's suffering so much, but in my ignorance, I can't help him at all. I feel as a parent. Oh, that's cute. She really does see herself as his parent. And I was very worried about Lucas too. But he wasn't getting seriously hurt, so I didn't want to worry because of William. I need to protect them, but I can't protect anyone. I'm pathetic. This is also shameful. I'll do what I can. Miss Sophia, maybe ignorance was a part of your actions, but there's no shame in it. You were doing everything you could do. So for William and for Mr. Lucas, I'm sure this is resolved. Thank you so much. I still don't really trust her. I feel like she might be the one doing this to Mr. Lucas. Also, can I ask you two more questions? Ask away. Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia. Have they really never so much as fought? Not as far as I know, but my memories may not be accurate. Because William may have eaten them. Although yes, I feel that things have been being broken lately. And I don't know why that is. Have Miss Olivia and William been together more lately? Yeah, they have. He's very often with Olivia when she's not working. Oh, so maybe Olivia's putting him up to uh, erasing all of these memories? Thank you for speaking with us. That'll be all. I hope you can help us. Can you really resolve this? Yeah. We should be close. Let's go to Olivia. Alright, let's go see Olivia again. William's with her. What does he have to say? Alright, nothing apparently. Oh, something happened? Do you mind if I talk with you for a moment? Yeah, go ahead, if I can be of help. I'll get right to the point. It's about this. Well, about all these incidents with Mr. Lucas. Are you the one responsible? No, why would you think that? Mr. Lucas is loathsome womanizing as a parent, but... Miss Olivia, I also heard that you're quite jealous. So I wondered if perhaps you strangled Mr. Lucas and put him on the cross every time. Even if you're right, what's the point without evidence? That's something I'm going to confirm now. Have you been getting along poorly with Mr. Lucas? With constant fighting? I've told you this before, but while well, he is quite an arrogant playboy, I'm not dissatisfied. We don't fight or anything. Because that's part of the men I adore. <laughs> oh, What are these? This girl is basically a lie detector. Getting fed up without explaining, huh? huh? Oh, I see. I suppose I get it. We'll ask your explanation once these are cleaned up. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of full now. Oh, they're not gonna go away any other way, so quit complaining. But like, I'm tired of the little ones. Just eat. I'll give you candy later. Woohoo! Eating again? We don't fight, that's a lie. They definitely fight? Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's do the triple knife again, that should probably kill. That attack is so insane. It was in the first chapter as well. I feel like it's even better now. As I thought, you were fighting after all. The manager informed me that stuff was being broken for unknown reasons. Perhaps those reasons are unknown because you're using William to erase all memory of it? Oh, damn. He's been with you often when he's not working with Miss Sophia or studying. That's why I suspect you have an involvement in all of this, Miss Olivia. I see. If I'm wrong, could you provide an alternate explanation? You want to know? Let's play a game. If you win, then fine. I'll tell you anything. Do I have your word? Yes, and look, none of those monsters, right? I'm telling the truth. What's the game? What's your experience with blackjack or poker? I've never played either. Then let's play memory. You must know how to play that, don't you? But with some special rules, we pick a value and whoever matches two of that value wins. I'll let you pick what value to match. Ace. Ace would be good. So the little lady says. What about you? Yeah, Ace sounds fine. Let's have a practice round. I'll go first. Four and eight, no dice. Can I flip some? Go ahead. Yay. Two and two. Congratulations, but the rules are to match the two aces. So sorry. Man. Ace and five. If you remember where that ace is, I'll remember it too if you can't. Look out for aces showing up anywhere, anywhere else, then we can win. Okay, I'll try. And the gun goes bang, bang, bang. My, you teach the girl a rather odd way to count. Different days from before. 
Um, the last state was here, I think. No, the ace is... Huh? What is it? Flip a card before we all die of old age. Oh, William made us forget. Effie, flip one at random. Wrong one. And it's my turn. Ace and diamonds. Ace of spades. I win. Got an idea of the game? Ready for the real match? Is it alright if we had some special rules of our own? True, it wouldn't be fair to give one of us the advantage. Yeah, let's have William leave the room. First, make it best of three. Whoever wins two matches is the overall winner. Second, after each turn, the cards in play should all be shuffled. But it's not fun to me. Let's set those rules. How about we have our game in the game room downstairs? Okay, that's fine. Oh, and one more thing. Can we have the match a little later tonight? Very well. Meet me there at seven. Yes, ma'am. All right. He completely took our memories there. I had no idea where the ease was. Did you actually remember it in the first place? <laughs> yeah, she probably didn't. But what do we do? There's no way we can win against that. I've got an idea. Let's check out the place we're having the game. Well, alright guys. I am going to end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.